Hello, hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So now we know about bubble sort. So here in this video, we are going to talk about modified bubble sort. So as we saw in bubble sort, the time complexity was O of n square. So in this modified bubble sort, we will try to reduce this time complexity. So as we saw that in the bubble sort, we used to take input. Let's say we have 2, 4, 6, 8. So now for this type of input, which is already sorted, we were overdoing our comparison just to get the sorting output at, in the end. Because we already have our array sorted. Or similarly, if let's say our array is 2, 4, 8, 6. So in this case also only one pass of comparisons is enough, right? Because if let's say I compare this, both of them are at correct place. I compare this, both of them are at correct place. And I compare this, I'll get 6 and 8. And now our array is sorted. So we don't need to do the things again and again. And that's why we have this modified bubble sort in which what we do, we check that if anything was not swapped in any iteration. So basically for each, we used to do iterations, right? So if any of the iterations, nothing is swapped, that means our array is sorted. So if our array is sorted, that means we do not need to do any further iterations. We can stop then and there itself. So here, this is what modified bubble sort does. So which do we what we do we just put one flag which gives us if any of the things are swapped or not and if nothing is swapped we stop there itself return the array that we are having so far. So in this case if let's say this is the case with us in which everything is already in place. So in that case only we have done one pass right and that's why here our time complexity will only be O of n because we are not doing redoing it. But here we will be doing two passes. The first pass to get it in place and second pass to verify that nothing is swapped. Right? So here it will be O of 2n let's say. So similarly as and when this will keep on getting more complex, this will keep on increasing the time complexity. So this means this algorithm doesn't guarantee that our time complexity will be O of n. But for few cases when our array is not that complex or not that unordered in a complex way, then it will be giving us better time complexity. So that means this can have time complexity ranging from O of n to O of n square. So that's why we call it modified bubble sort. So now let's look at its code doing nothing different except that we were keeping one flag let's say I am keeping this boolean flag which is set to false initially and if anything is swapped at that time I will be calling it as true and here after coming out of this while loop I will check that if my flag is not equals to true right so if my flag is not equal to true that means nothing is swapped then in that case we can return our nums then and there itself so let me try to run this so here also it will give us time complex uh, time limit exceeded because yes it can have maximum o of n square time complexity here also that means time limit exceeded error so here our time complexity varies from o of n to of n square and our space complexity is O of 1 only. So depending on how complex our input array is, we can have better time complexities as well. So this is what modified bubble sort does. So thank you so much everyone. I hope this video was helpful. If so, do like the video and don't forget to share it with other people or on your social media platform so that other people can also benefit from it. And finally, don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon if you want to get future updates as well. So thank you so much everyone. Hope to see you all in future videos.